Welcome back. lots of videos like these. I make tons of gift guides throughout the years for my children, for my husband, but I also make a lot of mommy content, home content, cook with me, clean with me, what's for dinner videos, um, plus size, lots of plus size fashion, beauty, clean with me, decorate, all of that stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family. And yeah, today's video is one that I've done every year now on my channel, I think. I think this is my third year. Um, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I am in no way trying to brag. That's always my disclaimer. Every one of these videos, I never want to be like, look what I got. That's not my attitude or my heart behind it at all. I just love sharing gift ideas and sharing stuff that I like with you and all of that stuff. So I really hope you guys understand that I'm not trying to like shove anything in your face. And by any means, this isn't like, I mean, some of you may think this is like nothing and some of you may think like this is so much. Um, but I love watching these videos. I saw like a resurface and resurgence of them this year my youngest. I saw a resurgence of them this year. I feel like it kind of like died last year. No one was making them and all of a sudden I've saw, seen a ton of them this year so far and I just think they're so much fun. I remember being a kid and like a teenager and one of my favorite things to do was after Christmas was to call my best friends up and be like, what did you get? What did you get? What did you get? Because it's just fun to share and you're excited. I did um, film Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I just still didn't post them. I don't know what it is every year, every holiday. It's like I don't, I feel like I don't know how to edit it because it's so much content and there's so much that we do and I just don't know where to start. And this year was really hard without my dad and it was definitely sad and a lot of times and it was hard. So I just don't know. I don't know guys. Let me know if you want to post it. I did film all of Christmas Eve and all of Christmas Day and I filmed present opening. I know so many of you guys wanted me to see or wanted to see that. Let me know if you're still interested in seeing that. I know it's almost the new year and you guys are probably over Christmas, but um, let me know. I just don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I should edit it, upload it or not. So tell me below if that's something you're still interested in. And yes, it is like December 29th right now and I still have my Christmas decorations up. I don't know why everybody's taking their Christmas decorations down. I feel like no one does, used to do that. I always grew up with my parents not taking anything down until way after the new year, not way after, but after the new year. And every person I've seen pretty much on YouTube this year, on Instagram, their Christmas decorations come out came down like Christmas day or the day after and it's crazy to me like I've never been one to do that and so I've always left my Christmas decorations up till after New Year's and so when Taylor Swift's Lover came out which by the way is apparently my most listened to song this year which is kind of insane anyway when she says like we can leave the Christmas lights up till January I'm like just yeah, I thought that was normal. Apparently that's not normal. So let me know below if you still have your Christmas decorations up and if you're leaving them up till after New Year's. January 1st is normally like we, that whole day, because my husband's off, we clean and take down all the decorations, but we do leave them up for, it's just fun to have twinkly lights for New Year's Eve, right? Am I right? Anyway, let's just get started in the gifts because I'm just yabbling, but that's why my Christmas decorations are still up. All right, so this is a mixture of all the presents that I got from my family and my husband. Um, yeah, so it's just the mixture of everything. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna grab something. Okay, so my family um, always likes to get me cooking stuff, um, which is what I love. I feel like everything on my list is either cooking or like beauty stuff um, on Christmas. I always put a Christmas list on Pinterest with links. It's really helpful. So. One of the things I had down there was this Pioneer Woman like Dutch oven. Um, I've seen this on so many of the mamas here on YouTube make use this for like soups and little stews and stuff like that. And it's so pretty. This like, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Like florally, what is the thing when you go to like little shops? Flea market. The flea market style where it's like mismatchy and kind of like fun. I love that and I think this is so pretty and my brother thought this was atrocious. <laughs> but I love it. I don't know. It makes me like my little old lady self come alive. 
Um, I think it's stunning and it's a nice little pot. I just needed a bigger pot. Honestly, I thought this was bigger than it was because I was really hoping to have like a really big soup pot. But I think this will still work, right? Like I still can like make my pasta and stuff in this. I feel like our big giant one, it's just I've had it for years and years and years before even I met my husband and it is time to get a new set of pots and pans and I just have been incredibly picky and I don't know what to get. So I put this down on my list hoping it would fill at least that need and I think it will but I'm nervous it's going to boil over. So let me know below if you have this and what exactly you use it for. If you use it just for like a Dutch oven for like soups and stuff like that or if you do use it as like a basic everyday type of pan pot let me know below but this was on sale it is for the pioneer woman from walmart this was on sale for like 13 dollars or something during christmas time i think it's still on sale she normally brings out a whole new line during springtime and a lot of the stuff that was out previously all goes on drastic clearance so if you're interested in that stuff then check it out because walmart is now getting rid of all of their like winter inventory fall inventory like clothes everything online and in store it's the time to shop if you got a walmart gift card or if you're just looking for some new stuff Okay, so the next item is another item for Pioneer Woman, which I love. Um, this is the Dazzling Dahlia's Classic Belly, and this is just a really deep skillet, I guess you want to say. I am very unknowledgeable and not nursed at all in, like, cooking or anything like that as far as, like, actual techniques and utensils and tools go, but... I love pots and pans like this. I think they're so helpful and so versatile. And the one that I've had for years and years and years is just so battered and bruised. And I really needed a new one. And I just thought this was beautiful. It's really nice and weighty. So I feel like it's really nice quality. It had great reviews. I love the different handles on it. Um, and it's just beautiful. I'm pretty sure she makes this specific pan too in other colors um, and patterns if you aren't wild about this one. But I just love the royal blue color and it's just so fun. Once again, like it doesn't match that other pot. Uh, pot but I don't know, I just like the mix and match of the florals and old ladiness. Pioneer Woman it just has beautiful stuff. I will say her stuff is, is beautiful. My bigger gift from my family this year was the Instant Pot, it's not the Instant Pot, Instant Vortex Air Fryer. I'm looking in the box right now, but it's giant and it's actually just in the cardboard box because they ordered it online, like the brown cardboard with just words on it, so it's nothing really to look at. I'll include a picture, but I really wanted an air fryer and I did a lot of research and I decided to go with the Instant Pot or Instant Vortex, whatever, the Instant brand variety, and I really like it. It was also on sale and I actually found it at Walmart just today um, in the clearance section. So check your local Walmart to see if you can find it on sale if you're looking for an air fryer. I honestly have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but I really wanted to get an air fryer. I feel like I'm really, really behind on the times but i'm so excited to start using it and like air frying like everything in my house so let me know below if you like that one if you have it um, i'm excited i'm nervous what is your favorite air fry recipe i need to know i'm nervous <laughs> are you grieving the loss of the patriots he's still recording. i know the she patriots lost so he's now all in black she doesn't care i do care <laughs> his number one is good old Tom Brady and he is so sad and he's literally dressed himself all in black and the game they just ended the game like an hour ago um something along the other culinary lines is this uh, Accurite digital waterproof thermometer I really wanted a meat thermometer um because I don't have one and I have never had an issue with undercooked meat or anything or get a, getting sick or anything like that but I'm just so paranoid all the time especially having kids and so um, I'm so excited to be able to have something that I for sure know if it's fully cooked all the way and I don't have to cut it up and have to worry about it drying out or anything like that I I don't know I think she got this at Walmart it's really cute and a little teal color it's a thermometer I hope it works well my mom always gets me a cookbook every single year, and I couldn't figure out which one I wanted this year. Um, and when I do that, I just let her go crazy. So she got this Taste of Home Christmas 2019. I believe I also have another Taste of Home from Christmas from a different year, but it just has a lot of different Christmas um, recipes. They have breakfast recipes, cookie recipes, meat, like all of that jazz, ginger spice cake, ginger crinkles, um, cocktails, 
I love these types of things, especially when you're going to parties and just want to try different recipes out. And of course, you don't have to use these just for Christmas. Like, I mean, they even have like chilies and soups in here. So this may be something that I test out for like avocado bruschetta sounds great, minus the cilantro. But like test out some of these options for just the colder weather. So it has like breakfast, it has a ton of different options. I love Better Homes, I mean Taste of Home. And I'm excited for this one. So this is the one that she got me this year. I honestly have no idea where she got it. She is like a member from them and like gets cookbooks from them all the time. So she might have ordered it through them, bought it at Kohl's. Honestly, I have no idea, but it looks great. I also got, Santa brought this for me in my little stocking. Um, and it is from Lauren Conrad from Kohl's and it says fa la 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 and it's super, super cute. I probably will just hang this on my bar cart and keep it as like a no use towel, which sounds crazy. <laughs> but just, I like special towels that are really nice um, and really cute that I can just bring out every single year and just know that they're clean and not destroyed and stuff. And they just go in my bar cart for decorations. So it's probably what I'm gonna do with this one, but it has cute little tassels. I like the pastel -y colors cause it's a little different and it's really cute. Lauren Conrad always has really cute stuff. Moving on. So this little item was my pajamas every year. Of course, I feel like everybody gets a pair of pajamas. My mom always buys us pajamas. And this is from Cuddle Duds. I believe she got these at Kohl's though, but they are so cute. They're really nice and baggy and super stretchy and just comfortable. And they have London all over them. They're adorable. If you know me, then you know my obsession with England and the UK. And at one point in my life, I was going like this close to go up au pair over there for a while and just live my London dreams. And so she got me this and it comes with little uh, pants and little cozy socks and they're super, super cute. And it has like big bend on there, little telephone booth, scooters, double decker buses. It's just adorable. I will link these below if I can still find them online. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure they're on sale, but they're really, really cute. All right, so getting started with the fun goodies. Um, we're gonna move on to makeup. So the first two items I'm gonna show you are this really beautiful glitter. This is the NYX metallic glitter and in the color Beauty Beam. Um, I have one of these already and I freaking love it. I think these glitters are so beautiful and for the price you can't beat them. Um, and there's a ton in there. Like this will last, sorry my daughter was saying goodbye. <laughs> this will last forever. You need like the smallest bit. And this one is just so pretty. This one is just so pretty and pink and glittery with like silvery specks in it. I love it. I think I'm going to try to rock this on New Year's. I love it. I love it. I've already swatched that bad boy, but it's kind of hard to show you swatches of glitter. Um, and then he got me this. These are this. All this makeup stuff is from my husband. Um, this is from Huda Beauty and it's the Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. Um, I think I accidentally put the wrong shade down when I put this on my list. So I may return this for a different shade because I don't think this is like really me. It is stunning. It's just not me. Um, Sometimes I like to be able to just to glide something really quickly on my eye and just kind of buff it out and call it a day. And that's what I was looking for with this. But basically they have like a matte side where it's like a matte cream shadow that you just like glide onto your lid. And then like this one is in the color Wednesday and it's pink. That's my only issue is that this is definitely pink. Like it looks like a lipstick. So I just don't think that's me. And the other side is other side is called Froyo, and this is stunning too. It's like a really beautiful, like metallic-y. I just don't think they're me, but I think they're stunning. And I know that they have more like bronzy coppery, which is totally up my alley. So I think I'm gonna um, exchange this for a different shade, but um, these are like, I think like $25 or so. So it's pretty pricey, but they're beautiful. I don't know yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. <laughs> Next, I have these Tarte Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. These are so cool. I love the Tarte like blush series that they come out for with the holidays almost every year. And these ones are no exception. They had great reviews and they're so cool. So it comes with three different compacts with six different shades or three different shades in each. What? What am I saying? There's nine total shades in three different compacts and they all get like from progressively darker. So this is the first one and it's in frosty sleigh bells and shimmering and it's just, you open it and there's like a highlighter and then you slide it over and there's a beautiful like peachy blush. 
and you slide it again and there is like a more shimmery deeper peachy blush oh they're these are just so pretty and they're so fun to twirl <laughs> and i don't know i love them i'm like so excited this one's in the shade snow kissed prize and peppermint mocha and so there's once again a really beautiful highlighter shade a mauve shade and then like a bronzery contour shade ugh these are great too because if you want to like split them up for gifts or something you easily could have um still do you know who gonna judge you um and then this last one is the deepest one and it's uh new year's eve decked out in mistletoe and this is way too dark of highlighter on me but a stunning shade oh it is so pretty i'm really excited to use this for like a lid color and then um a really fun poppy pink and like a deeper mauvey peach shade you just these are all so pretty and i highly recommend them tarte makes great blushes and these are no exception i really really like them and these are easy and travel friendly especially like this one you have your highlighter your blush and your bronzer all in one and you're good to go so if any of you guys have gift cards and are looking for some options I got you covered. I think most of these, I think everything but one item came from Sephora. So if you got a Sephora gift card, you know where to go. Okay, the next item is this Benefit um, Highlighter and Cookie. No one talks about this. I don't know why, but it is one of the most stunning highlighters I have ever seen. And that is because um, being super fair, it's hard to find highlighters that are not too dark on me and if they are too dark they're either like really really white and a lot of that times that's like a white gold or like a really pinky color and there's not a true champagne and this is a true champagne so if you are very fair like me or are looking for a shade like this in your collection I highly recommend it this has had amazing reviews but I don't feel like I've ever really seen many people talk about it here on YouTube and it is beaming and intense and truly like a very true champagne i feel like it is not doing it justice right now i am like having natural lights so this is all natural lighting um but so so beautiful this is probably one of my favorite items i got because i feel like i'm gonna get so much use out of this um highly highly recommend and you can get that at like ulta and sephora and stuff like that but so beautiful all right the one thing that came from ulta but technically color pop is this little number this is the beauty and the beast um bell bundle and i originally had put a couple of the like disney princess like lip colors on my list and he was able to find this and i'm so glad he did this comes with a liquid lip and a pressed powder blush and they are beautiful first off the whole ColourPop like collection and theme of all of this is so pretty and just fun and magical, especially for someone who grew up around this time and really appreciates like all the princesses and stuff like that and Disney. Um, this is the blush and it just has Belle on it and it has a mirror and the blush is so pretty. It's a really pretty natural pinky shade. It's in the color Enchanted Mirror and it is so pretty. It's like a a pink with a lot like peach almost undertone and a little bit of a shimmer to it it is stunning and i love the packaging it's just so enchanting and then the lip color is the one i'm wearing but it's probably rub rubbed off because i've had a lot of starbucks today <laughs> and it is the disney designer collection in beast and it's the luxe liquid lip i think i'm gonna get more of these i don't like liquid lipsticks that are so drying and just feel like a weird almost like vinyl-y latex on your lips you can peel off and it's just so dry and crackly and gives you that line ugh i much rather have something that will naturally wear off through the day and look better than something that's going to start falling apart and looking terrible by the end of the day but still technically be there and this is what that lip is it is the luxe liquid lip in beast like i said and it is just a beautiful brownie terracotta shade it is not super super opaque it is buildable though and it just looks pretty and like almost moussey and matte and kind of velvety on your lips it's really comfortable to wear and it is not drying i really like these and i'm going to look more into them um, I don't think I've ever had one from ColourPop before, and I'm really impressed. This total, I don't think was super expensive because it is ColourPop. Um, I think, I think he said like 
$18 or something like that. I don't, I have honestly no idea. Um, not that I asked him the price, he just mentioned it. But I don't think this one is really super expensive compared to the other makeups. This one is a bit more drugstore friendly. So I would check it out if you're on a budget. Um, there's another, I got, I'm not going to share with you like the gift cards I got or like monetary gifts just because I don't think that's helpful in any way and just kind of like look at the money or whatever and not that I got that much money or you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I do think that I'm going to scour some ColourPop sales though and try to see what I can find because I kind of got re back into ColourPop. I kind of fell off the wagon now I'm like hey, I should check you out again. Alright, moving on to the eyeshadow. Um, I got the Naked... Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I have been wanting this for so long and I just waited because I was like, I'm just gonna put it on my Christmas list. This is so freaking pretty. One, the packaging is just stunning. But this is by far probably my na my favorite Naked Palette. I really like Naked Heat too, but this one is just right up my alley. It is so pretty. I love the warmth and the yellowy gold to the, all the shades. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I love this. I think this is unique without being too pink, too brown, like this yellowy gold, like almost like pukey shades are up my alley. I freaking love this. Raw Beauty Crystal, or Raw Beauty Crystal. Raw Beauty Christy is the one who like, um, I saw this, she did a tutorial months back and I was like, yep, getting that. Highly recommend this. I think it is stunning and by far my favorite naked palette. It is so pretty and unique and not like anything I have in my collection, which makes me very excited because it's not too orangey brown or pinky brown or like mauvey reddish brown. They're like very yellowy and like just different and cool and I love it. And then the last two makeup items I got are from Lunar Beauty and I am so excited about <laughs> these. I love Manny. I know Manny is controversial for some. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Manny MUA is a beauty YouTuber here and he has his own brand called Lunar Beauty and every single item I've ever purchased from that brand has been without a doubt spectacular and amazing quality and yes I like him but if he didn't put out good makeup I wouldn't suggest it but his makeup I have never had a dud and everything has been beautiful and luxurious. It feels like I'm getting an experience, which is what I really like when I buy stuff. Like packaging means stuff to me. Like I like the experience and the thought behind it. And I feel like he does an exceptional job. The first one was the Strawberry Dream palette. Just so beautiful. I love the concept. His packaging is always blows me out of the, out of the water slash out of, blows me out of, away oh my gosh blows me away blows me out of the water anyway it has this embossed like raised moon this came out um in the summertime i believe or like the beginning of the fall time honestly i can't remember but um i put it on my list and i knew it was there he get he always gives like a full-size mirror in his palettes and oh so pretty pink and like this totally different from the honey um, and it has some blues in there. This color blue diamond, literally, it has like a blue shift glitter topper. I don't know. He's so good with his makeup. Highly recommend anything. I have not been disappointed by anything that I have got from him. Um, I have not tried any of his lips, but I have just about every powder product he's come out with except for the, um, holiday eyeshadow goddess one that he came out with last year last holiday all right i had pause the lighting has changed because it's getting dark in my husband's gaming but you know what we're gonna keep going um i only have two more items and the second to last item is this baby it is the moon spill palette from lunar beauty to continue on the lunar beauty train this is probably the most beautiful palette like the packaging is so pretty and i think one, it looks like a little spell book. And um, I think this concept is so freaking cool. And for like the holiday, this is uh, Manny's holiday collection. And for it to be like during Halloween time, I don't know, it was just unique and cool and awesome. And I was so freaking impressed. It is so like weighty and it feels like a book. It looks like a book. Like if I was just holding this, someone would probably think this was a book. And inside another full mirror, 
and then all the beautiful shades which are stunning all of these shades are actually inspired by different witches so there's like hermione bonnie from um vampire diaries whom i love we got marnie from Halloween Town, uh, Winifred, Sarah, Mary from Hocus Pocus, Sabrina, I mean, like, and it's just, it's, it's another beaut. Prue is so pretty. So is Phoebe and Mary, all of them, so pretty. Kids are trying to kill each other. Look at that, look at that. I'm telling you, if you've been on the fence from this one, Highly recommend it. And if you haven't tried out Lunar Beauty, don't know what you're doing. You need to try it. They sell it at Sephora. They sell it at LunarBeauty.com. Sells it at Morphe. You need to do it because they're all so pretty and so, so worth it. All right. This last item is something that I randomly stumbled upon on Instagram one day. Um, and I think this company and this just type of I like just brand is so cool and such a smart idea um this is kind of a harder gift for me to talk about but i think it could help potentially some of you guys as well and um the company is called set in soul i will have them linked below i this wasn't like a sponsored thing or anything my mom actually bought this um i put this on my instagram or on my pinterest list and i didn't honestly expect to get it um, until I went down Christmas morning and Santa had left this for me and it is a grief journal So this is called lost gems, but this specific company has a ton of different journals and just like writing prompts Essentially um, to help you go through whatever season you're, season you're in so they have one for grief They have one for like marriage. They have one for breakups and divorces. They have one for self-love They have one I mean like for literally anything that you could possibly be going through they have something and I think writing and kind of just getting your thoughts out in actual like words um, and your feelings and emotions and putting them down on paper or in your phone or whatever it is or just getting them articulated is so healing and so relieving I um, mean it really helps me grieve it helps me adjust I I really enjoy writing um, and so I'm really looking forward to this this one is called lost gems um, and it just has a bunch of different prompts basically so this is um, this little page that's coping and um, moving forward thoughts and then it has like a daily one and this one says your date and I'm coping and this one um, is biblically based and scripture based but they do have ones that are not so if you um, aren't a Christian or whatnot um, they still do offer other ones um, but I am Christian so I am glad that they intertwine that as well um, has morning thoughts today I choose to focus on I know I'm at peace knowing today I choose to celebrate you by remembering I'm leaning on today I'm taking these steps and then they have nightly thoughts um today I was really feeling God has shown me today I talked more about today I lived in the moment by and it's just a really I think awesome and therapeutic way to help grieve and cope um and they've like grieving thoughts and there was one I found um you didn't just tell me you showed me and you read it down as long as i'm alive you, you will forever live just really beautiful ways to grieve and remember your loved one who's passed away um i know a lot of you who've been so kind to reach out to me and um tell me that you guys have lost someone recently too and where you guys are at and i thought this could be helpful for you too if you are struggling as well like i am um and i just think this is beautiful so i'm sure that there's other grieving journals and notebooks and stuff like that um i just randomly stumbled upon this one and i thought this was really cool but like i said they have like a whole company based on different types of experiences that you may be going through and to help kind of like write it out and get it out and i just think that's really awesome so this is a really exciting gift for me in a way and a weird way to say that but um yeah okay the last two items are actually ones that i'm wearing so my husband and i always like get each other new rings um every year we keep our special ones that um are a little bit pricier um and are obviously super sentimental because they're the ones that he proposed and we got married with and everything like that but um i think after like the whole like silicone band craze came out where people were having silicone bands on instead of their actual rings to keep them protected and not get hurt and stuff like that i just i like that 
um, option but I like to just do like fun different rings and each new year is just kind of a different ring so if you watched my husband's gift guide you saw his and this year this is the one that he got me and it's absolutely beautiful this one is a replica of Princess Diana's ring it has a sapphire in it and it is so so pretty i love it i've always loved that ring it also makes me think of like the heart of the ocean <laughs> from titanic i think it is stunning i will have it linked below as well um it wasn't super expensive it's beautiful i love it i think it's just different and unique i don't like um i like to switch up my rings and i like unique rings and i just i don't know i think it's beautiful and stunning and i love it and the other ring, which doesn't match it at all, but who cares, um, was a special gift too. And this is a ring that my mom got for me. Um, and if you can see it, it's two little butterfly wings. Um, and it's supposed to represent butterfly kisses, which is something that was very meaningful to my dad and I. And so it's just two little butterfly um, kisses kissing one smaller and one's larger and they also kind of look like angel wings so it's super beautiful and really sentimental to me so i will have that linked below as well um sorry for crying <laughs> didn't want this to go downhill anyway but i hope i gave you some ideas just for funsies if you're looking for some fun things like i said it's the end of the year so so many stores like i just even saw i got like notification from target on my phone they're having a big massive sale too so if you got some gift cards i think now is like the fun time to use them and i hope i gave you guys some good ideas and recommendations and i hope you enjoyed this video when it was just a way to escape and relax for a little bit thank you so much for watching um like i said if you haven't already subscribed i would love it if you did and make sure to check you YouTube just did a huge big subscriber clean out um, so make sure to check for a lot of your favorite um, creators and kind of see if you're still subscribed sometimes they do that just for inactive accounts but I've also seen a lot of people saying that they've lost subscriptions to people that they've loved so just check the people that you, you like to watch a lot and see if you're still subscribed and um, yeah I think that's it. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you can at Sarah England. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very soon and probably not until the new year. So I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and I can't wait to see you guys again in 2020. Bye guys.